All right, can you see my screen? Mm -hmm. Perfect. So I'm actually in her portal, so that works out. But did you get the password to log into yours? Yes. Perfect. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is work inside this portal every single day, Monday through Friday. You're going to spend about an hour to an hour and a half most days. Some days will be less. Probably shouldn't be much more unless there are some videos that are just a little bit longer on certain days. Um, the portals are going to be a mix of text lessons, videos, links, articles. There's a number of different types of training inside the portal. Um, but you'll log in each day. It's up to you whether you want to do it morning, afternoon, evening, if you need to split it between two sessions. Um, it's really up to you to kind of guide your time unless your agent has a preference for you. So each day you'll work in your portal and you'll also send a start of day and an end of day recap. That after our call, you'll get a email from me kind of following up on some of the stuff that I just told you. Um, and the link to where you can find the start of day and end of day is included there, but it's also in your portal. So you'll be able to download it from there or go into the drive. Um, over the next 30, 60, and 90 days, you're going to be working to earn your role 30 days at a time. So when we start out the first 30 days, there might feel like there's a lot of micromanagement or so many different things to do, all kinds of different things coming at you at once. But your agent is owning your role right now or whoever's role you're coming in to fill, someone else owns that right now. So as we transition them out of it and you into it, your growth starts going up, their management of you starts going down. Somewhere between 30 and 60 days, we want to see that curve kind of meet in the middle where they've leveraged a lot of things to you, you've started taking over more, but they're still growing and learning to do. You're never going to know everything. That's okay. It's always okay to ask questions. That's important to keep in mind. There's no stupid questions. Um, I don't care if you ask me a hundred questions a day. I would rather you ask me too many than not enough and get to our reviews or even down the line and realize that's a question I should have asked and I don't know. So just make sure that you're asking questions and you're shadowing your agent, whatever you can do to start to learn each of these pieces of the business. At 90 to 100 days, which is when we have our final review, we say we want you to own the role. And that doesn't mean that you know everything there is to know. You never need help from anybody. You're never you know, asking someone else to, to help you with something but it means that you feel comfor com comfortable, confident and comfortable um, in your role, in your daily responsibilities, right? So you're doing pretty much everything that's in your job responsibilities with minimal, minimal I don't wanna say minimal supervision, but I mean, you're just doing it, right? You're, you're understanding what you're doing each day and you're moving the business forward. Um, my phone email, and texting are all right here. They're also in the emails that you'll get from me. It's a Google voice number, which I keep pulled up on one of my screens all day. So whether you text it or call it, I'll get a notification pretty quickly. Um, it'll also be sent to my email. So you can communicate with me in whatever way is most convenient for you. Um, we also have Slack, which I've added you to. Did you get that invite? Yes. Perfect. Um, have you used Slack before? So, for like a second recently. Yeah. So like one okay. of my, like a book club that I'm in uses mm -hmm. it. We don't use, like, we don't really use it very often. Yeah. So, so it's pretty soon and I've seen okay. it. Okay. But Perfect. I, yeah. Okay. And it's I'm pretty good. simple to use. Um, it's like a mix between texting and emailing. Right. So I'm going to click into it real quick and you can see um, if you want to send it, let's say you're in this general tab, which could really be about anything. Mm -hmm. um, you would come in here and if you want to alert everybody in the entire training, like everyone who's in training is in it at once. Let's say you want to send a message that you want everyone to get a notification about. You would just type this at symbol and channel and that's going to notify everybody. Okay. If you're in one of these channels, everyone can see it. They just won't get a notification that it happened. So you could notify one person or three people or everyone. If you want to send a private message to someone, just come to direct messages. You can click the plus and choose who you want to send the private message to. And it will go straight to them, right? 
So pretty simple. Um, Dana, you don't have access to KW Command because you're not with KW, so it's not useful for you. So I didn't add you to that channel. You okay. should, though, be on all of the others now. So if you don't have one, two, three, four, five channels, let me know. Okay. Um, Yoselin, when you watch this back, you will have all six channels. Okay. Um, so when we are in our portal, um, back over here. So daily, you're going to send your start of day and your end of day. You're going to send that to your agent and to me. You're going to work in the portal every day and your action packet every day, which is that Google Drive packet with all the check boxes. It's a dynamic Google Sheet, meaning that anything you type in it or add to it, I can see. So you're welcome to print it out or make a copy of it to save elsewhere, but make sure that you're still updating that specific packet that was shared with you each day so that I can go in and see it. And we can talk about it each week on your calls. Each day, you want to make sure that you're looking at your 30, 60, and 90 day goals every single day. Um, when you start your priority list for for the day, you wanna make sure that the things that make it onto your priority list are things that help you meet those 30, 60, and 90 day goals. So let's say one of your goals is to um, understand sky slope or understand dot loop. Great, what would you have to do today? Would you have to watch three videos on sky slope? Would you have to understand creating a transaction in dot loop? What is it that you have to do to get closer to those goals that you can make a priority each day? You also want to review your calendar for the following day and of course that morning. Calendar should stay up in your window at all times. In this role, time blocking is incredibly important. And if you don't have your calendar up and in front of you, whether you're using two windows or two screens, one screen, whatever it is, you should be able to see your calendar very quickly at all times. Turn on notifications. So when you have um, an appointment, you know, something that's gotta be done at a specific time or a meeting with someone, turn on 10 minute notifications, like training. There's been a number of times where someone's like, oh my gosh, I just completely forgot about it. I worked right through it. Turn on the notification and it'll pop up in your screen 10 minutes before it's time. So just get in the habit of making your calendar work for you. Okay, so reviewing your calendar. Weekly, you'll have a one-on-one -on -one Zoom training call with me just like this. It's gonna be 30 minutes once a week, but if you ever need more time, feel free to reach out and ask for that. 99% of the time I can fit in extra sessions during the week. There's some weeks or days that are a little bit more packed, but I will be able to fit in time at some point within a couple days. You can also call or text me. If it's a quick thing, shoot me a text, shoot me an email, whatever it is that I can respond to you quickly. So just whatever you need, let me know. Um, you'll also have a weekly one-on-one -on -one with your agent. So it's going to tell you in your training to set that up in the first couple of days. And that's where you'll review your 411, which your training will teach you about. And it's also where you'll make sure that if there's anything you need from them to hit your goals, anything you need to shadow them on, just in general, that you guys have that time one-on-one. -on -one. If they do not hold themselves accountable to that meeting, let me know right away because I need to make sure I bring that up with them on my weekly call with them. I'll be checking in with them weekly, um, giving them accountability for you and I wanna make sure that they're also staying accountable. Um, you'll have a weekly training mastermind at three o'clock Eastern on Wednesdays. So that's from three to four and it'll either be where I'm going to present a specific topic and then we'll all talk about it. Or once a month, we do just an open round table mastermind. What do you need help with? What do you need help with? How can this person help? How can this person help? So we'll have one of those each week on Wednesdays. At 30, 60, and 90 days, that's the only time that your agent will be on calls with us, and those are our reviews. So we'll go over your goals. We will make sure that they are um, being met each week. We're going to talk about them all the time, but we'll bring your agent in at 30, 60, and 90 days to just make sure, are you on task? You know, where are we at with these goals? Any questions about anything right here? Nope. Okay. All right. When you're done with a lesson, you want to click the complete lesson button. It's going to change it over here when we click to the next page. That way, if you have to walk away, you know where you left off. So you just click complete lesson, it'll mark it for you. Up here, you'll see that there are downloads. Those correlate with tasks to be completed. So the expectations conversation is there, as well as the download for effective ways to communicate. If you have not already had the expectations conversation with your agent or your direct supervisor, which you're going to be working with Jess, um, mm -hmm. Yoselin, when you watch this back, those will be with Billy. Um, but make sure you have that conversation today or tomorrow. Get that on the calendar because it's really important to 
set the expectations, not just theirs for you, but your expectations for them. So those two downloads are here. Just click the button, save them in your Google Drive under your training files. You're also, though, again, going to get that list of Google Drive training files. And there's way more there than there is in the portal. The portal just kind of correlates with whatever's happening that day, but there's a lot of stuff in the Google Drive file. So just make sure that you keep note of that. Um, and that's really it for the portal. You'll just kind of work through day by day. Um, you should be able to scroll through and kind of see what's coming up each day or each week. So if there's something that you're looking for, maybe your agent wants to talk about a 36 touch, see if you can scroll through and find something on it. Okay. Um, any questions about the portal? Okay. All right. So then the packets, your training packet will look, oh, you're coming in again. <laughs> <laughs> I just got you twice. That is weird. It's all good. <laughs> all right. So your packet's going to look something like this. Okay. So you're going to have action items each day. You'll go through again. When you check something off, it's going to save it automatically up here and it's going to let me see that you've done it as long as you're working in this dynamic packet. So you'll go through each one. If there's notes next to it, it's something I've left there for you just to give you additional information on it. Um, if there's no notes, that's fine. If you need to leave a note, you can delete mine and add your own. So anytime you need to leave a note for me, let's say someone already set up your signature you can leave it unchecked, but write a note and say, Billy did this, right? Mm -hmm. Or Jess did this. So use those notes, however. 30, 60, 90. So your official goals are down here on the bottom. So you wanna make sure that you're looking at this tab frequently. This you can print out if you want. If you wanna have a copy physical that you have on your desk all the time, that's always an option. But this is the same thing, it's dynamic. So only check goals off when they're fully complete. Um, this, for instance, says read the book, Millionaire Real Estate Agent. If you read 20 pages, don't check it off, even if you document 10 ahas, right? Like you want to complete the whole thing. So these are goals that you want to meet by 30 days. If you're, and Dana, this one's a little bit different for you, but let's say in command, for instance, there's six or seven different things we want people to know. If you know five of them, don't check the whole thing off. In your packet, it's going to look a little bit different, but if we're talking about the Compass Navigation Center and you don't feel like you fully understand the couple things that it, it mentions, don't check the whole goal off, right? But we'll talk about these every week. Um, so this is your packet. Um, you also have a 411 down here. What we do here is basically take any of the goals from your 30, 60, 90. So all of these 30 day goals are probably what you're gonna to wanna to make your 411 monthly goals. So everything in 30 would be here and it would be September. Everything in 60 would be here and it'd be October. I wouldn't worry about annual goals yet because you're getting ready to reset them for the following year. So while you're in training, those are the goals you really wanna work on. Mm -hmm. And the weekly goals are just the smaller things you would need to do to meet the monthly. Okay, so you have your, and actually let me rename this because this can confuse sometimes. I'm going to call this packet, <laughs> um, training packet, 30, 60, 90, and 411. Any questions about those? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, and then um, I have already scheduled out training. So Dana, yours I have this week at 11 a.m. on Thursday. Is that good for you still? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And let's see if they're always at 11 on Thursdays. Yes, so yours will usually be at 11 a.m. on Thursdays. I try not to, tra uh, to move your trainings without reaching out and asking you first, but sometimes mm -hmm. if I'm trying to fit in a call with an agent or something, I'll move it. Mm -hmm. If you ever get an update that says it's been moved and it doesn't work for you, you can absolutely say, no, don't move it. You can't move it. Or okay. you can move it, but this time doesn't work. So feel free to just let me know that. But sometimes I start moving stuff just to get it done quickly. So if it doesn't work, that's okay. Okay. Um, you should also now have a invite for Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, the Jumpstart, Mastermind, and Wrap-Up. Have you seen all of those come through on your calendar? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay. And that's really about it. Um, you'll hear me say, oh, actually we'll look at calendar. Um, let me do that first and then I'll recap. So this is my calendar, which looks a little crazy. Yours <laughs> is not 
probably going to look like this. It may still be very color coded, like my colors actually mean something. Um, so you may use color codes, you may have blocks that are all over, but typically our training um, or your calendar is going to look a little bit more like this. Mm -hmm. You're going to be blocking your day. My day looks crazy because it's phone calls back to back to back. You're going to work in blocks so project time, listing time, marketing time, whatever those separate roles that you might be in, you want to block some time for it. You'll notice that there is emails and voicemails in the morning, mm -hmm. emails and voicemails midday, again mid-afternoon, and late afternoon. So we don't want you living in your email inbox all day long, right? right. Because then every time an email comes in, you're going to stop and answer it and get off track. So right. if that's something that's not comfortable for you because you're someone who likes to live in an inbox, <laughs> start with a check at the top of every hour, right? Maybe it's not four times a day. Maybe it's eight times a day at the top of each hour, whatever that's going to look like. Um, this week, you'll just get used to time blocking. We'll look at your first time block schedule on our call on Thursday. Okay. Um, if you're not someone who is highly time blocked or who doesn't live by a calendar, this might be uncomfortable for you at first and it's a habit that you're going to build and that's okay. The reason that I will ask every Monday to see this five day view of your calendar screenshotted is because if you say, well, there's just not enough time in the day to get it all done or I feel like I'm constantly bouncing from task to task. I'm going to say, okay, well, let's look at your calendar together and see how we can help that. Mm -hmm. So it's not a micromanaging what you're doing every minute. It's being able to coach you through issues occasionally. I like that. You will see that lunch is on this calendar as an example. And it is also on my calendar at 1130 each day. Um, put lunch on your calendar whether you eat at your desk, however it is that you do lunch. If you completely leave, just make sure it's there because if it's not, you're gonna work through it. You're gonna forget about it and realize it's three o'clock and I'm starving and I'm hangry. So mm -hmm. make sure that you time block lunch, <laughs> okay? Yep. If it doesn't make it on the calendar, it doesn't exist. So start getting into that habit, okay? So that's what those are gonna look like, uh, a general time block. And again, you'll see that when we were looking at this one, everything was the same color. Mm -hmm. It's up to you if you want to make certain things different colors. If you know every client block is one color and every listing block is one color, totally up to you how you manage your calendar. Um, do you guys use Gmail as your provider? Yes. Okay. Are you familiar with tasks in Gmail? Um, not really. Okay. So this is one of my... My yeah. personal account is Gmail, but like okay. personal, I don't really do that much with it. Sure. This okay. is like a whole new learning. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. So um, tasks are one of my favorite things ever. Mm -hmm. So if you've got something you have to do during the day, let's call it your start of day and end of day report. It's got to be done every day. It doesn't necessarily have to be done at 8 a.m. It probably could be done at 8.15 if a call came in or something or at 9.30 after your stand up with your agent, however that works out for you. So instead of blocking a time on my calendar that said start of day, end of day, I would create a task for it. And what you can do, um, you can actually just click wherever you want it to go. Ooh, hold on, the tasks aren't showing on this one. Let me go back to my own calendar. So wherever I want it to go, why did I turn them off? <laughs> and task right here. And it could be whatever I want. So let's say I'm going to email Dana. Doesn't really matter what time it happens. I just know I need to send you an email today. Okay. It's going to keep it right up here at the top. So if I have a little white space in my calendar, like I did here, I could say, what are the things I need to do today? Okay. I've emailed you complete. Great. Mm -hmm. Right, so it's just another way of making sure that you don't overblock your calendar with things that don't have to happen at a certain time. But also okay. it's a great way to track those little to do's or projects that come up randomly during the day. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to use that system, you don't have to. But so many people who use Gmail have said that that has been really effective for helping them nice. keep those little things straight. So okay. totally up to you how you want to handle that. Um, so outside of that, though, that's pretty much everything you need to know up front. Again, we'll have our weekly call. If you need me before your first call is scheduled, reach out, let me know. Not a problem at all. Um, you'll start working week one, day one in your portal today, in your packet today, and just kind of go through that each day. Um, the three buzzwords that you'll probably hear me repeating multiple times are 
accountability, resourcefulness, and proactivity. So the accountability is just do what you say you're going to do, right? Like stuff stands in our way every day and that's okay if you don't get all eight of your priorities complete every day. Like that's okay. But if the same priority stays on there five days in a row, I'm going to ask you, is this truly a priority or is it not? Because the priority is a, a same day, maybe next day then. So think mm -hmm. about that. Um, are you in your packet every day? Are you in your portal every day? You know, are you just staying accountable to your goals and your commitments? Proactivity. If you need something from your agent to complete something in your packet or portal or to complete one of your goals, reach out to them, let them know you need it. If they don't answer you right away, find something else to work on in the meantime. Like the worst thing you could do is just sit around and wait for the answer to come back. Most people are pretty good about this, but I've definitely had people in training who will say, oh yeah, I, I sent them an email on Monday and it's Thursday and I still haven't heard back. Bug them, right? <laughs> Remind them, this is important to my training and my goals. Mm -hmm. It's been three days. I need you to respond, right? That's okay. Um, so just be proactive. Try to be a step ahead. Try and you know, figure out the, your solution. Where can you find this answer if your agent's not getting back to you? And then the third one is resourcefulness. Um, my joke about this is that if I'm in Eastern time and constantly people in Pacific or Mountain or whatever will say, oh, well, if that's three Eastern, what time is that in my time zone? And I'm going to tell you to Google it or questions similar to that. I'm going to tell you to Google it. And it's not because I'm being mean. Um, it's because I want to remind you to be resourceful. If it's a yes or no question or something simple like that, use Google. If you're trying to figure out, maybe you're working in Skyslope and you just can't figure something out. I can't get to you right away. Your agent can't get to you right away. Go to YouTube and type Skyslope videos or go to the Skyslope training center. Like where else could you find your answer? So just being resourceful. All day long, I'm gonna answer your questions. If it's something that truly can't be answered by Google or can't be answered without reading 35 pages of this has to happen and this has to happen. We're going to go through that stuff all day long, but just be resourceful. Ask me if you, if you don't know something that your agent's asking you to do, don't just not do it. Reach out to me and say, Megan, do you know anything about this? Could you help me? Do you know someone who could help me? Maybe someone you could connect me with. So just using resources wisely. Um, that's kind of it though. So, any questions at this point? No. Okay. So we will do our jump start at 12 Eastern, which is in about 30 minutes. Okay. Um, that's when we're going to ask everyone, what are your priorities for the week? And it's completely fine for your priorities today to be breathe and get through <laughs> day one of training, right? Like they don't have to be anything crazy or lofty. It might be setting up your calendar. It might be meeting with your agent, whatever it is this week that, that needs to happen for you to feel like this has been a productive week one. Mm -hmm. That's it, right? There's no judgment around people's priorities. Everyone look, every, everyone's priorities look a little bit different. You're all in different roles, different teams. It's whatever is the most important thing for you and your team to accomplish this week. Okay. okay. All right. Any questions? No. Good. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. So go ahead and start working in that whenever you have time. I'll see okay. you on the jump start. And if you need me again before our call or Wednesday or jump start or any of those things, just reach out. See you soon. Awesome. All right, Dana, thanks so much. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.